Oh no 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 no! Ah oh, no 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 no! Not good, not good, not good. Oh, this is turning out to be one dangerous trip. Oh, come here, Spitz. Come here. Come here, I said. Yes, I'm back on my quest, so that's good. A good start. Good morning fellow gamers and welcome back to another Let's Talk Gaming video. And today we are back playing some Ark Survival Evolved on the last Ark server. And uh, well, I was uh, running around in the swamps and I just recovered from a computer crash. So uh, I'm quite happy to see that I survived. I'm still on the back of my quads. And uh, as I was flying around, I noticed a few of these little things in here. Okay, where did they go? Uh, there is one. The new centipedes, the. Well, how are they called? Antropluera. And, uh, well, I, I will be looking around to see if I can find another one uh, to tame. Hopefully, I can find a high level one. Like, there is a 308 there. And uh, I think I noticed. Another one. A four and a little bit. We have visitors. Ooh. Some friendly tribe, I hope. Yeah, I think it's one of our uh, friends here. Let me check where, uh, where the centipede is. There is a level 112 there. There is one up there as well, which is. Oh, stupid critzel. Oh, no, 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 no. This is not good. Get here. Let's take my weapon out, just to be sure. Ah, here he is. <sighs> this, <laughs> this is turning out to be a really special experience. So let me check a few more of these. Uh, I thought I had seen a level 400 one. There it is, level 400 one. I will try to grab it. Uh, let's hope I can grab it. And uh, if possible, try to bring it back to my base to tame it. Did I get it? No, I didn't. I didn't get it. Let's see. Let's try again. I think it's somewhere up here. Huh, which one is it now? Let me get a little bit higher. And uh, well, let's start with turning off these light shafts and bloom quality things. Oh, of course, server uh, lag kicks in as well. Did I grab it? No, I didn't. So I think this one might be the one I want. 140? No, it's not the one I want. There is... Oh, stupid bugs. Let's see. I have lost it by now. Oh, there is one. I think that's the high level one. Mm, it should be getting out of the bushes pretty soon. Where did it go? Let's get a little bit closer so we can see it better. Uh, I think it was somewhere up here. That I spotted it. Ah, there is one here on the ground. Let's see that one. Oh no 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 no! Ah oh, no 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 no! Not good, not good, not good. Oh, this is turning out to be one dangerous trip. Oh, come here, Scratch. Come here. Come here, I said. Yes, I'm back on my quest, so that's good. A good start. Stupid bugs keep messing around with me, I believe. Let me check. Uh, this is going to be a mess. Okay, is that all? <laughs> bugs. Let me check. It was somewhere up here. Uh, that I spotted it. Hmm. Maybe it was a little bit further up. Somewhere up here, no. I'm pretty sure it was in this area. Oh, there is one. They tend to be pretty fast as well. Uh, I spotted one a, a little earlier and it 
traveled so fast that I couldn't find it back. I think that's probably the level 131 again. See? So the other one must be somewhere in the area. I guess it would be... Oh, there are two up here. This one... What the, oh. This is the high level one, I believe. But there are two. 448, yeah. I will have to move out a little bit because uh, otherwise I will be having two of them and uh, I'm not sure I want that. Which one do, do I have now? Ah! Oh. Additionally these trees makes it pretty hard to capture one because uh, if you touch the trees they seem to be falling down after you grab them. So where did they... Oh, I still have it, no? Do I? Or is it on the tree? I have one. I believe I do have one. Yeah. But the question is what level is it? So let me drop it here. So we can see that. And check its level really quick. Uh, yeah. I hope it's the correct one. Because otherwise I will have to go search again and again. Ah, stupid Quetzal. I was hoping that it this would be an easy task, but apparently it seems a lot tougher than I expected. Okay, there it is. Is that the correct one? That is the correct one, so I have to go grab it. Uh, let me try it again. There. Do I have it? Yes, I have it. So next I will be trying to bring that back to my base, which is very far away. But... Uh, I hope uh, our friends will have set up a little taming pen for me because they told me they would do that. And uh, once I'm back at my base I will get back with you guys and uh, we will try to tame this one. And uh, I will show you how it's done. Okay, I'm back. Now when traveling back to my base and uh, I thought about it and I didn't have a taming pen yet so uh, I was traveling back, back with the centipede and uh, I did a call out to some friendly folks on the server and they set up a little taming pen for me. Uh, and it's right here, I already dropped the centipede in it. So I'm uh, quite thankful to them because without a little taming pen I would never have been able to tame it. Now, if I have heard it correctly, I have seen a video by uh, Welcome to Paradise about the centipede and if I remember it correctly it needs uh, rotten meat, so spoiled meat as uh, as its root and uh, you should also take some bug repellent and apparently uh, the best idea is to wear ghillie armor so let's try that out, I don't want it to uh, whack up my other armor so let me try that if the server wants to bring me back oh, and here we go Gilly arm on. I have a full set I found in one of the drops. Uh, here we go. So that's ready. Now I should also use bug repellent. So let me drop that on my hotbar as well. So if I press 8 now, I will be using bug repellent. And in the lower left side of my screen, you can see the results. Now let me try to get close to it. And tame it because it is a passive tame so you need to get close to it I've heard the hitbox is around where its head is there it is oh, oh it's already pretty mad at me what did I do ah this isn't going well not going as I expected maybe I should get out pretty fast up close the door and get back from the other side Ooh, it is angry. So, the bug repellent trick helped a little. Let me try to crouch. It's also something I have uh, heard in one of the videos. Okay, let's go back in. It doesn't notice me for now, so let's crouch and try to get closer to its hitbox, which should be where it its name is, oh, that seemed to work. Okay, let's stay away from it for a bit. And crouch again. 
get a little bit closer to check if I can put some more food in it. I will have to repeat this uh, quite a few times actually because it's a quite high level one. It's a 448. So it will take me a few times to approach it and put some meat into it. But I hope to uh, be able to tame it. Uh, no, not good. Okay, it has noticed me again. It's still angry at me, I don't know why. Let me crouch again. Hmm. This doesn't seem to help at all. Maybe I should get out again and get back in. Because this isn't working. Oh, is it still? No, it's not aggroing me. So now maybe I can try to go back and put some more meat into it, make sure it doesn't see me. Or at least try to make sure it doesn't see me. Huh, the hit box is pretty strange too. Let me get closer again and put some more. Oh, it's not hungry again, of course. Then it starts to aggro again. I will have to keep repeating this. Uh, it will take, well, from what I can see, 10 times to feed it. At least. Oh, the damn thing is pretty fast. There it lost attention again. So maybe I can go check if it needs food again. Wait until it's hungry. Every time I get closer, it's just outgrowing, so... Hmm. <sighs> I hate this, but... Uh, I need to stay out of its spit, because the spit demolishes your armor like crazy. It's... Uh, Huh. One set of full set of nice armor can get destroyed pretty pretty fast like that, and that's exactly why I want to have a few of these because if you would have some of these in your PvP base, they would destroy the armor of your opponents pretty fast. So I think it's a nice nice a good idea to have some. Okay, it calmed down again. Not hungry again. It's trying to get out. Let's see if it's hungry again. Approach it from here. Not hungry again. Ah, oh, there it goes again. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. So crouching doesn't really help. The bug repellent might help a bit. Maybe I'm too fast, that could be a possibility too. Let's see. It will be spitting its venom again. And that's actually pretty dangerous, the venom thing. Did it lose attention again? Yeah. So it's time to get closer again and try to feed it, not hungry. Ah, I knew it. Now, <laughs> the Bronto is trying to get in, which is funny. Let me try to get away from it and uh, wait until it pauses again. Then I can go check if it uh, if it's hungry. And if it is, I will be putting some more rotten meat in it. Is it hungry? It's still taming, but 
it's not hungry yet. Wait until it's hungry. Well, I won't take you guys through this bowing process. Uh, I will be doing the taming off camera and I will let you know. Uh, I will get back with you guys once it's, it's done or nearly done. Okay, well I'm back and as you can see the thing is pretty tough to tame I think it's hit box hit box is pretty strange and uh, you have to pay attention that it doesn't see you because it, it chews your through your armor like crazy I think I already wasted a whole set of uh, ghillie armor on it and uh, I'm still not ready so uh, I think one more bite one more feed and it should be tamed up but uh, Getting it, getting close enough without uh, it seeing you to tame it. There we go. I have it. Look at this creature. Yes, we did it. Uh, let's call it. There isn't port. So it tamed out at level six sixty nine, which is pretty awesome. Uh, I don't have any saddle yet. I think I might have one at my base because uh, if I remember it correctly when uh, taming the beaver I created one of these saddles by accident. So it's that 9500 health, not all too bad. Stamina 12, uh, 2100, well okay. Weight mm, almost 300, melee damage 800 and movement speed 120. But as I was mentioning this thing choose through armor like crazy as you can see it broke all my ghillie armor every piece of it is completely wasted by now uh, well luckily it's a spare set i think i have a, a another one not quite sure if i have all the pieces but uh, anyway uh, let me see what they eat i hope they eat uh, the waste the spoiled meat as well or maybe it's a carnivore and it will eat normal uh, meat meanwhile I will be heading back to my starter base to check if I have a, a saddle and uh, I will be back to you guys when I when I have one if I don't have any I will craft one for sure uh, I'll be right back okay I'm back and I did have a saddle back at my starting base, so it's time to put it up. But I have to wait until everything renders in, I believe. It will take a minute or two before. Yeah, there we go. Now, let's uh, get in and put its saddle on. Here we go. Let's give it some normal meat. I think it eats normal meat. But its food isn't dropping all that fast, so no idea actually. So let's take it for a ride. Oh, it's overburdened. That's <laughs> that's the reason why it's so slow. Uh, let me check what I can drop. Well, I'm too heavy for it. I guess that's the only thing I can do. Uh, yeah. Let me hop onto my Quetzal. I'll drop some stuff on my Quetzal. And uh, well, it can follow me, so that's fine too. Maybe it will climb up with me here. 
let me put some stuff on my Quetzal. I don't have all that much on me, but uh, every little thing matters apparently. Well, I don't need this one. Mm, let's keep the rest for now. No, I don't need that. I have some meat, I have everything. Okay, let's try to mount it now. Oh, here it is. Well, for starters, it's turning radius sucks. Huh. It's slow, but that's probably because I'm too heavy for it. So let's try to kill something with it and see how well that goes. Now I know they have a few different attacks. One is uh, the normal attack, the damaging attack, like uh, this one. Yep. And the other one is a spitting attack. The spitting attack is uh, the one that uh, devours uh, armor like crazy. It's, it's uh, really, it uh, bites chews through armor in no time. So let's see if I can, well, maybe this uh, trike might be a bit dangerous because there are quite a few in the area. Yeah, let's see how far we go. I can always hop off and grab my normal weapon to damage it. Yeah. Of course, there will be, this will be a pretty strong one. Well, it's it's keeping up pretty nicely for now, so that's okay. As long as I don't lose too much hit points, I'll be fine. <laughs> I think I've, I've chosen a, a rather high level one, or the damage on these things sucks. We will see soon enough. Okay, here we go. A few more hits. Yeah. As long as the other ones don't get too close, I should be fine. Well. Oh, level 784. Of course this is a high level one. It had to be. <laughs> Let's see if force feeding if meat helps. Yeah, that helps. So I can get it uh, held back at a normal level if I want to. Let's raise some weight. Maybe some melee damage. Oh, melee damage is actually pretty quick. 350 weight so should be enough. Well, they are just slow, so I will have to find something else to fool around with. There is no way I can catch up with a Parasaur. I will have to attack things that will attack me as well. Let's see how this goes. Spit, no problem. But the damaging, well, it's doing some damage on this one, but uh, damage is still, still pretty low. Okay, this should give me some more levels. Yeah. Let's try to get this Mega Nerd now. Oh, aiming with this thing is also hard. Let's see if the spit does anything to it. No, not at all. Hmm. Well, for PvP combat, really, while, while riding, this, uh, I don't think this is a viable option, but uh, the way they chew through your armor, that has to be a nice advantage. Uh, I was hoping to have some of these and put them inside my PvP base, so when they get inside, they encounter these critters, and uh, they uh, chew through the armor, and the rest should be done by uh, by some uh, plant species X or some turrets. Let's see how well that goes. No, not sure if it does anything. The spit does anything on the uh, on dinosaurs, but uh, hitting it should help. This will take quite a few hits. It's a uh, 
level 600 and something so it won't be going <laughs> down as fast at level 28 one but uh, we should be able to manage and uh, we can also always force feed uh, meat back to get some health back so that should be no problem at all it's getting a little bit bloody so we're getting there okay a few more bites I think we should be almost there. One or two more bites. Well, it will be a few more. Here we go. So this should be another level up. Well, let's pump some more movement speed for now. <laughs> Leveling it up will take a while. Remote use to bring health back. Okay, well, I'm traveling back to base. Uh, I will be putting the centimeter peat uh, inside the pyramids. From what I have seen, um, these critters will be nice in a PvP base. I want to have quite a few in my PvP base so that uh, when people try to attack me, at least their armor gets broken and uh, I will be able to kill them or drop them faster. But for normal adventuring, I don't think this is a viable option. They are way too slow. Their damage isn't all that high, but most of all, they are too slow. And additionally, I noticed that aiming the spit uh, can be pretty strange. Even normal attacks, uh, attacking bugs seems to be pretty tough. So, uh, hmm. not really all that viable. Still, PvP-wise, I would say yes. Now, well, uh, this will be it for this video. Uh, I think I showed you just about everything I can show you about uh, these centipede. If you like this video, please feel free to press the thumbs up button. If you have any comments or suggestions, as always, you can leave them in the comment section down below. And if you want to get in touch with me, well, you can do so via Twitter, Facebook, even Ask FM, and you can find uh, links to our websites and all the social media in the description of this video. Please feel free to subscribe to this channel as well. That way you will get uh, notified when I post new videos. And uh, you also show me that you uh, like these videos and you support my endeavor of creating videos. And that is what keeps me motivated. Seeing you guys enjoy the stuff I make will make sure I keep making it in the future. So by all means, go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel. And... Uh, for now, I have to say, well, have fun and stay safe. Bye.